Good evening, guys. How are you? So today we we'll see the class number three. Classe de número três. I hope you guys are fine. Okay. And uh, you had a incredible day. Because I did. <laughs> so what do we will see today? We will see the verb to be present tense in Portuguese. Uh, this is, can be a little bit challenging because in Portuguese we have two verbs, two verbs, and we have the verb ser, and we have the verb estar. Uh, if you didn't know, and if you don't know about the personal pronouns, watch the video number, the class number two, okay? So the important thing that you need to understand, what is the difference between the verb ser and the difference between the verb estar? So the verb ser refers to permanent characteristics, nationalities, and uh, professions. And the verb star refers to temporary, this is so hard for me to say this word here, temporary characteristics and uh, about a location, right? So example, if I'm say, that's interesting, but if I'm say I'm happy, I can use the verb ser, and I can use the verb star. For some reason, <laughs> when, when you say, I'm happy, in Portuguese, you can use as a permanent thing, more like a personality, right? But if you say, I'm sad, you're gonna use the verb star because this is temporary. For me, like if I eat a very good taste chocolate, I'm gonna be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the difference between the verb ser and the verb star. If I'm talking example, ah, uh, I'm Brazilian, verb ser. If I'm talk, I'm tutor, I'm teacher, the verb ser. If I'm talk example, I am in Brazil. Brazil, verb star. All right. Um, here we're gonna see the conjugations, nah. Huh? Uh, the conjugation first, we're going to start with the verb ser. i put here. Yeah. Present tense. Uh, this is important that I tell you guys. In Portuguese, we have a more conjugation than English. So sometimes I really would like you guys to get used to it. If I'm say, okay, this is the conjugation presente. Yeah. Sometimes I can translate, but sometimes I cannot. Uh, it is what it is, you know, and a couple of things you need to learn by your heart, you know, like, uh, yeah, if you try to translate, you be awkward, you know, and uh, you you be more confused, to be honest. Uh? Uh, of course, when you start to learn a new language, this is the process. You you start to translate after you get used to it. I always say to my students, try to get used to the language. Learn how to be comfortable in the uncomfortable zone, you know. Uh, so here we have, so let's start here. Eu, eu. So, so, huh? if you are an English speaker, maybe this kind of like common, try to connect one word to another word to remember. Uh, eu, so, that means I am. Ele, é, means he is. Ele. É, ela, é, você, sorry, ela, é, means she is. Você, 
é a gente é você means you a gente means we in formal way tá and uh, for more that a gente we it's plural you conjugate uh, singular okay next nós somos nós somos means we are next eles são eles são remember connect são paulo same here são elas são elas são vocês são elas means they plural form eles means they masculine uh, plural form elas feminine plural form uh, I, I don't think it's have plural form but yeah yeah they ela, eles they masculine elas they feminine Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm here to make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> But the most part that I can help you guys. Uh, you. Né? Plural form. Vocês. Vocês são. Vocês são. Right? So, again. Eu sou. Ele, ela, você a gente é, nós somos, eles, elas, vocês são. Né? Sou, 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 é, é, somos, somos, são, são. Tá? This is kind of like a key, uh, Little examples that I did with my students in the group class. So I'm gonna read in Portuguese. I'm not gonna read in English because you guys have the translation. That if you're reading English, it's gonna take so much time. So this is a Portuguese lesson. <laughs> I'm so rude. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm fun. I'm kind. So ah, eu sou o gui. When you talk about a subject, remember you're gonna use an article. Né? So in Portuguese, basically, I am the gui. In English, don't we, we don't say that, but in Portuguese we say. Sometimes you're gonna hear people say eu sou gui, né? because in Portuguese it's very common we short, we short the yeah the sentence, you know. Uh, I believe like every every language is like that. The next one is Ele é Brasileiro. Brasileiro. This is a very difficult word. Difficult word. Ele é Brasileiro. Ela é Brasileira. Pay attention here. Brasileiro, it's an adjective. Né? Here, it says when we talk about he, this is going to be a masculine adjective. And this will be a feminine adjective. Uh, most, of the, uh, most of the time, if the adjectives end in O or A, it's going to be a regular adjective. If ending E, né? it's going to be an irregular adjective. So works from for both of the gender, uh, the subjects. So talk about a man or a woman, if the adjectives end in it, it's gonna, not 100% of sure, but it's gonna be a irregular adjective. Uh, we have a couple of examples here. Mm, here, example. Eles são inteligentes. So I can say eles or elas, tá? Both. Uh, um, so let's come back here. A gente é 
médico. A gente é médico. Here could it be a gente é médico or could it be a gente é médica. Tá? So, depends what I'm say here. If I'm say a gente é médico, I know that uh, we talk about we are like uh, male doctors. And if I'm say a gente é médica, I'm talk we are female doctors. Right? Next one. Nós somos estudantes. Nós somos estudantes. Maybe I'm talk too fast. Maybe not. Get used to it. Because if you come to Brazil, people are not going to say to you like, Nós somos estudantes. <laughs> Remember what I told you before. B, learning how to be comfortable in the comfortable zone. Né? So sometimes the riddle change. I can speak slow. I can speak fast. And depends on my day also. So now it's 7 p.m. in Brazil. I took two cups already. So I'm like... <laughs> sometimes I'm sleepy. I talk slowly. Sometimes I do meditation. So I'm talk slowly. But right now, I talk. I feel I'm talk fast. I'm so sorry about that, guys. Uh, next one. Uh, eles são professores. Tá? Example here would be professoras. If I'm talk about a they feminine form né? uh, we need to see the plural uh, yeah probably next class uh, next one elas so amigas né? this one here amigas can be a substantive but can be an adjective like they are friends uh, if you talk about a woman elas you see, amigas and the A, S, because it's plural. If I'm talking example, eles, eles são amigos. I will put like a O, O, S. Next one, vocês são altos, tá? Ah, pay attention here. We saw that in the first lesson. I don't read like altos. I read like out. Uh, we switch the L for you. Uh, so we should switch the L for you. Uh, uh, eu sou baixo. 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 Uh, uh, break if the word is too hard. Break as syllables. Baixo. Baixo. Uh, I tell to my students sometimes, don't get it too emotional. What it means that don't try to say too fast. If you don't, if you, if it's difficult, nah, uh, try slowly. Baixo, 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 baixo. Right? Next one. Ele é sul-africano. You see here, I don't read really like sul. I read really like sul. Sul-africano. Ele é sul-africano. Here, ela é gentil. But uh, another example. Gentil. Uh, it's an adjective, kind. And uh, it's a uh, irregular adjective. So, could be ele é gentil. Tá. Uh, next one. Você é uma cozinheira. Nhe. Like a dog. Like a dog. Nhe. Você é uma cozinheira. So you see, I break here in these syllables. Oh, it's like one. One, two, three, four, five. Cozinheira. 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 Just like music. It's it's easy. Cozinheira. Cozinheira. 
Cozinheira. Cozinheira. Cozinheira. Cozinheira. Cozinheira. <risos> Você é uma cozinheira. Nestua. A gente é bonita. A gente é bonita. Tá? And the here could be bonito. Tá? So now, here, I know they talk about a, we are beautiful, but they talk about a, like a female, like a girls, women's. Women's. <clears throat> And if it's bonito, talk about a man's, boys, right? Um, nós somos feios. That's a break here. Nós somos feios. 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 I don't know who wrote that. I'm not ugly. You're not ugly also. Who did that? I didn't like this sentence. <laughs> we are beautiful. Yes, we are beautiful. Very beautiful. Uh, next one. I read expand that one. Okay. Uh, ah. So, we have the verb estar. You remember the difference between the verb ser and the, and the verb Star, or you already forget? Huh? Tell me. You remember or not? <laughs> Be honest. Be honest. All right. So here. Ooh, oh my goodness. Usually, if this happened, I hide my camera. But yeah, you're alive. <laughs> so. Let's start. Eu. Let me see if I can do that. Eu estou. Então, estou. 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 Probably my students say, like, gee, your videos, it's more fun than uh, <laughs> <in> personal lesson. <laughs> so, eu estou. 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 Eu estou. Ele, ela, você, a gente está. Uh, so, let's break here also. E le. Ele, ela, ela. And that's why I like to use the Google Docs because sometimes I forget to to say things. So I have this. I I say in the next lesson. Você, você, a gente, or gente, a está. Ele, ela, você, a gente está. Why I'm doing that? Because I don't know if you guys realize that or pay attention to that. How baby they learn a language. They learn with this video like baby. And uh, man, that's T is T. I can play a song here and you're going to sing all day long. So that's why I try to make music for you to, to stick. Like, ele, ela, você, a gente está. Ele, ela, você, a gente está. Nós estamos. Nós estamos. Nós estamos. Nós estamos. Next one. Eles... So here, eles, eles, elas, vocês. So, eles, elas, vocês, estão, estão, estão. 
I feel my nose, but uh, correct. Your body is going to tell you exactly the way to say. Es tão, tão, tão. It's not ta, it's not tom, tão, tá? Ok? So, eu estou, ele, ela, você, a gente está. Nós estamos, eles, elas, vocês estão. Eu estou, ele, ela, você. Stop that. I have my students, Nico, seven years old, who say, stop that. Stop that, kids. Hey, okay, okay, stop. <laughs> so let's see here. Ah, we have a couple examples. First one, eu estou feliz. 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 Ele está com fome. Ele está com fome. Fome. Ele está com fome. Ele está com fome. Ela está com sede. Or sede. Tá? Ela está com sede. Sede. Ela está com sede. Ela está com sede. Ele está com fome. Ela está com sede. Eu estou feliz. Ele está com fome. Ela está com sede. Uh, você está triste ou triste? Triste. Uh, so here we break. Triste ou triste? Ti. 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 Você está triste. Você está triste. You are? I hope not. Come on. Be happy. Life is good. Life is beautiful. Beautiful. A gente está alegre. A gente está alegre. Mm. Ah, and drink water. Ah. So good water. A gente está alegre. A gente está alegre. Nós estamos cansadas. So you see, I know that they talk about a woman here. Woman here. Eles estão cansados. Eles estão cansados. Tá, we break here. Cansados. Elas estão em Budapeste. Tá? This is a preposition of, if I'm translate like in or at. Uh, I like to give a spoiler. This is a contraction. In Portuguese, we have uh, many contractions. I'm going to explain that in the next lesson. Tá? So, elas estão em Budapest. 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 Vocês estão no Brasil. Just to give a quick spoiler. Tá? So, em plus o equal no. Tá? So, this is English. We translate like that. Tá? And uh, here is like that. Tá? So, I mean, giving spoiler to you guys. Cities in Portuguese, most of the cities doesn't have a gender, and the countries have a gender. So Brazil, it's a masculine country, right? Um, so next one, eu estou em Paris. Paris, Paris, it's a country or oh, it's a city, Ooh, it's a state. Comment below. What is Paris? <laughs> Paris. 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 Um, all right. So, guys, that was the lesson of today. About the verb ser and about the verb star.
these couple examples here, right? And pause the video if you want to to, to make a note. Uh, okay, so that was the third lesson. Nice, we're gonna finish here for today. We're gonna slow down. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for you to watch this video. Don't thank me, thank you for you to allow yourself to separate this time to learn a new language. I appreciate that a lot and I admire you. You know, to not give excuse, but uh, take this time to learn, to evolve, to improve, right? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. If you arrive in this channel, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below, give me a like, and uh, let's share this information. Let's make all the country, all the country now, all the world speak Portuguese. Why not? And uh, you motivate me to make more videos. No, that's not true. I need to motivate myself by myself as you need to motivate yourself to study Portuguese, all right? But guys, thank you so much. I wish a beautiful evening. For me, it's evening. I already had like a today seven classes and uh, I'm making this video for you guys. So thank you so much. Have a, again, have a beautiful evening. So much love with so much peace, with so much joy in the happiness i see you in the next video so yeah thank you so much bye bye where well, i'm stop this okay